Hi there, this is Saul Chiron from Saul Chiron Films and welcome to another episode of Double Take and today's Double Take features Parasite not the 2019 can sensation by Bong Joon-ho the 2014 Japanese film by Takashi Yama, Yamazaki and the 2015 sequel, also by the same director. These are two films based on a manga. And it's the simple story of an alien life form taking over humans and trying to take over the world. They go for the human brain, but a boy played by um, Samatani Shota manages to just take over his right hand. And it picks up English quite well, and he becomes his friend slash ally when he decides he doesn't actually want to eat his brain and he can help spot other aliens now so far so familiar um, it's obviously a riff on Invasion of the Body Snatchers to a lesser extent The Thing you know, what makes us human um, and it really takes a kind of environmental slant as far as you know, what the humans are doing to the world you might as well just be eradicated um, the alien life forms aren't as bad as they seem even though they are fairly nasty. The thing that kind of sets these films apart are the special effects. Even though they are CG, they do kind of look practical. Um, the killings and feedings are usually done in medium shots. So the CG doesn't really stand out which is what good CG should do. Um, the film is shot in kind of muted colours, kind of muted blues and greys, so it's not a really bright, dazzling film that the CG would stand out. Um, it is very... It's pretty gory. It's fairly... Um, some fairly nasty deaths involved. But again, it's done with a certain elegance um, and a certain beauty to it. Um, episode 1, part 1 is 105 minutes. Part 2 is 112 minutes. The second one perhaps is a little overlong but the acting is fantastic and if you are a fan of Japanese cinema there's some familiar faces that you'll probably recognise um, Kunimura Jun turns up as the lead detective in the two films and he is a long term collaborator with Takashi Miki and in the second film, Umori now turns up, who we all know as Ichi the Killer, Takashi Miki's 
subtle little film each of the killer. And he turns up as a journalist wanting to hear the alien side of the story. The alien kind of leader is played wonderfully by um, Fukatsu Eri, who I didn't actually know, but actually released lots of CDs and albums and is actually a musician and singer, but she's also appeared in Journey to the Shore and plenty of other Japanese television. And she... Yes, they want to keep kind of feeding on a certain percentage of the population because as they say, you know, every year 30,000 people disappear. You know, a certain amount of people are never found. So they'd want to just keep feeding on that and kind of being, you know, under the radar. You know, the way vampires are in real life, you know, they want to just feed on people that won't necessarily be found or missed. And so she's really trying to work together. But by the end of the first film, things have kind of went out of hand and they call in a heavy hitter who again, if you're familiar with Japanese cinema, will probably put a smile on your face at the end of the first film. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Um, all I'll say is a fairly famous actor. And he then takes more of a bigger role in the second film. Um, as there's a faction within the alien community of whether to try and live kind of... In, well, in harmony as much as you can by still killing humans every now and again or just trying to wipe humans out completely so Fukatsu Eri's character she's kind of fascinated by this idea that humans you know will sacrifice for other humans so she decides to get pregnant so she has a human alien baby and again that just leads down alleys of again what is it to be human so again they're not it's not ideas that haven't been done before but it's just done in a very nice way the character that Shota Shimatani plays the hero. Um, obviously, it starts as kind of comedy as his right hand is replaced by this now Japanese speaking alien because he's learned Japanese in a couple of hours via the internet. The internet is wonderful for that kind of thing. Um, so, obviously, he has wonderful powers and his right hand can pretty much transform into anything and again the effects are really good and really well done again because of the way the film's shot and it's muted colours the CG doesn't stand out as much um, it's creepy in places it is violent and gory in places um, but it's also kind of handled classily you could argue that maybe the film should be a little bit less serious and actually a bit more fun um, but again that's a kind of that's really up to your tastes um, yeah I would highly recommend them if you're that way inclined Again, if you're a fan of Invasion of the Body Snatchers or The Thing or even kind of early Cronenberg, obviously it does talk about, you know, what makes us human. In the second episode, the humans decide to go in to the City Hall building, which the aliens have obviously taken over because the best way to take over the world 
is to go through politics um because we all know politicians aren't really human anyway and so they go into the city hall and then they just find whichever members of them are aliens and just start slaughtering them which again as the audience you actually start feeling sorry for the aliens because humans are just scumbags um, as who becomes the main villain in the second film is always pointing out um, the way that humans have destroyed the planet um, destroy each other whereas Eri Fukukatsi her character is trying to see the good in humans and is trying to see a way in which they can coexist and it's that tension between the two factions that kind of keep it going um, and the second one you could argue the young man's not in it as much but he meets an alien who's actually got five aliens inside him so he's just this like super alien almost um, he goes into a Yakuza office and just slaughters everybody um, so that's a nice fight scene the big finale fight in a um, kind of smelting plant which immediately reminded me of Alien 3 um, is very well done yeah they're just two fun enjoyable films about um, brain and flesh eating aliens taking over humans um, and having a talking right hand yep so thanks very much for watching this double take of Parasite parts 1 and 2 not that one I mean no doubt maybe one day I'll do a random review of the other Parasite this is Parasite Part 1 and 2, 2014 and 2015, directed by Takashi Yamazaki. And hopefully that's piqued your interest. So thank you very much for watching this double take. Hopefully we'll see you again for more double takes. This is Solitude Ronan saying farewell. <laughs>